Hi, folks. Max from Galaxy S4 Root.com. Um, so I've got a quick ROM overview for your T-Mobile uh, Galaxy S4. This is called the Death Star ROM. Um, pretty nice ROM. It's nicely themed in blue, and you can see the uh, Wi-Fi there. Let me turn off the Wi-Fi so you can see the regular signal there. Um, it is nicely themed. And I'm only getting edge here, so you'll barely see edge there. And also, nice circle battery mod. Uh, it's going to come up in a second here. And also, nicely themed there. And also, you got a nice, uh, nice Android with uh, Death Star there. Um, pretty nice. Let me clear this up so you can see better. There you go. So that's what it looks like. Kind of cool. Um, nicely themed. And does it have rotation? Uh, no. It does have... Uh, multi-window enable for all apps now uh, if you don't know the multi-window is actually enabled for certain apps uh, in the stock ROM but with this custom ROM you can get stuff like Dolphin browser working uh, fully with your regular internet browser which you can't do on a stock ROM you can run any apps as soon as you install any apps it will show up here um, which is nice and also does ship with a custom kernel Oops you about device here um, does ship with which kernel is this uh, this is the ptmr3's kernel I forget what it's called but it's a custom kernel there's no overclocking but you get stuff like init.d support script support and stuff like that um, if you want to get very good battery life I do suggest installing like set CPU and down clocking to maybe like just a step like 1.672 um, that will get you like 20% better battery life and you know, it won't really affect the performance it is still pretty darn fast because this phone sh is just super fast and also does have 5x6 launcher as you can see here 5x6 app door 5x6 uh, launcher there now if you use widgets um, if you use a lot of the Samsung widgets like the weather widgets you might not like this ROM because um, it does cut off some of the stuff as you can see here but if you need the uh, bigger launcher and you like TouchWiz launcher you can go ahead and install it also you can install Nova launcher which is my favorite launcher anyways um, you know install Nova launcher and uh, you know you can change your grid size however you want and should make your run uh, should make your phone run faster and also this is based off the uh, Sony Brave engine uh, so it should give you better images and uh, yeah and also there is ad blocking on this one um, so it'll block ads for you uh, but pretty nice ROM pretty nicely themed I mean we're still seeing some of the beta versions um, so you'll you might still see some bugs like the widgets and stuff being cut off but I mean overall it should be a pretty uh, stable ROM as far as using it as a daily driver um, but very nice ROM check it out for your T-Mobile Galaxy S4 uh, please do not flash on any other Galaxy S4s and do let me know what you think, and uh, we'll have more ROM overviews uh, coming soon. But otherwise, you do get uh, most of the stock apps. Um, you know, some of the stock stock uh, uh, apps removed. Let me see if the tethering works on this one. You know, tethering doesn't work on this one. Later, uh, we'll have a method on how to do that one too. Uh, but anyway, check it out for this week's ROM of the week, and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S4. Uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxys4root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me down here. Subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android. Yeah.